A. Hey, greetings and welcome to Code Cookie. And today we're going to be looking at getting started with the Python SDK in BigQuery. I'm very excited and I just want to work in Python, right? But BigQuery is definitely one of the most prized possessions in Google, one of the more prized the prized APIs in Google. When you're dealing with data, when it comes to data, definitely want to be using BigQuery in order to go about things and in Google. And when you're and the programming language of choice is Python. Python, um, it's definitely a universal language uh, you could definitely use in all parts of an application, front end, back end, database, that and the third, obviously. We're dealing with data here. I'll definitely love Python as a backend, right? It definitely is more simpler than Node.js, and it definitely helps you understand more of the concepts of the computer, the concepts of the backend, and really just what makes up a backend in terms of servers, in terms of that memory. And there's a lot of details with Python. Definitely love what the Python team is doing, and it, it's it's just no it's no it's no fluke that this is just going to be the choice about how we're going to be learning we're we're, we're going to be learning with BigQuery right there's the command line tool but that's mostly Google really wants you to have a Linux laptop um for that and this is not Linux um and there's third party tools we'll definitely want to get into as this course goes along um but for now let like, we're getting started you want to go ahead and get started. Right, so now when we're dealing with SDKs, what we want is a service account. So first things first, we're going to head over to cloud.cloud.cloud, cloud, 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 right? Cloud. Mm. All right, this is fine. Th yeah, this is fine. I wanted to go to cloud developers, but I wanted to go, but we're in cloud.console, right? So we're in credentials, and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a service account, right? I have my service account here, ready to go, kind of. So let's go ahead and create a service account where we give it the name BigQuery Learning, right? And then like, that's our ID, very important that we have that, right? We should be able to see this later, right? We go ahead and create it, right? Now you want to grab this service account. We really don't want any service account to be owners, right? That's just the security, but it's just in case of someone um, game access, right? So we're going to give it a still broad um, role, just to be, this to enable us to um, work with BigQuery. And as we continue, right, we'll learn more about roles and we're eco narrow, worry about how to narrow things down, right? Next, you want to give ourselves, we want to grant access and we go ahead and click done. And just like that, our service account is made ready to go. Now you can work with BigQuery in a meaningful way. Right. Right, so now what you want to do is you want to take your service account, you want to click on that same service account, and then also you want to be able to create a key, right? You create a key, right? We have our JSON, we want to use JSON 12, right? And now we get this credential file, right? This is a very important file. Definitely want to keep this server, definitely want to keep this service side, don't want any clients ending up with that key. And what we, what we just want to go ahead and do is see, I already have this set up, set up. but what we want to do is we want to, um, if you have Windows, right, we want to go into our system environment variable, and then we want to set um, the Google application credentials, right, I'm going to type it out. I'm going to type it out in the readme. I should have it, right? We want to set the Google application credentials to the path of this JSON. So wherever it gets downloaded, or even want to move it to your project, right? Move it to your project. Um, set the path in the environment variables, and then restart your computer, most likely, right? So I'm just going to cancel because I already have this going, and I'm just going to toss the service account because I already have it. I already have a service account ready to go. And test the service account like so. And and so if I take a right, 
Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ref yeah, it doesn't refresh properly. That's okay. All right. So after we have that set up, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go into our terminal. Right. And for, and what we want to end up doing is we want to be able to install the library, the pip, of the library. So what we're going to have is. Right, what we're gonna have, we're gonna head over to, right, what we wanna do, what we wanna be able to do is we want to be able to, we wanna be able to work with the library, with the SDK, so we need to install that library. And Python libraries for Google, right, they don't come as one big package, they come in these separate pieces, like this Google Cloud BigQuery for one is, um. There's PubSub, I believe, and there's I think there's um one for App Engine too. Um, the point being is that these libraries are just too big to really keep in one. And I would love to use the REST API. I would love to use the REST API, but um, with my Drive videos, it kind of kind of gets straightforward, right? You construct a HTTP request in the code of your choice, and then you use the um, URL. And you use the URL and apply that. You make sure you have that authorization banner, right? Or you're providing um, the private key in the request if it's a service account, right? And then you provide and you look at the documentation for the parents and, the, and what should end up in the request body, right? So, what we have here, so what we're going to do is, right? And then, like these libraries, that's all they are. Right, so just to have too many of them, right, and they're just gone. And these requests and the and the library is gone. The order of hundreds, I don't even know if they're using GraphQL, but let's go ahead and install. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to install this library right here. Right, you can see, you know, you can see we just see that library. Just a lot of installation, a lot of initialization, a lot of setup taking place here, and just install all of Google Cloud Platform as one and as one library. First of all, that's going to be too main hard to maintain and definitely want to keep that as a module. Right, so after we have it set up, right, we should be looking at type packages, right? Usually that's how when um, Python modules get installed, usually that's where they end up going anyway. If you actually look in your system installation for Python. So now in this code, we want to see Modify this path, right? You want to go ahead and, and paste this code, right? What we want to do, right? When Python is looking for modules, it looks in the system path. And that will, it's not really looking in the system path, it's actually looking in the current directory as well. So if we're in the current directory and our script in the current directory, as well as our modules, we want to go ahead and do, we want to take system path at index zero at the current directory, and then we just want to make it look at site packages as well so Python knows to look in there. That's where our code is as well. You might as well add it, right? Because we might need something in that direct path. But for this lab, we won't. Next, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead, import, and then start up the BigQuery client. Now, don't, we don't need to provide any um, application credentials, right? Because we also, right? Because we also had that set early, right? This is set to the path on the JSON. So when this is get when the client gets initialized, it's already going to be able to authorize and authenticate itself. All right. So now what we can do here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make a query. So what is definitely great and love about this query so much is that it's about SQL. You know, it really allows me to hone all my Python and SQL skills at the same time. Right. So this is amazing right here. Are we already working with JavaScript TypeScript? JavaScript, a web framework, and Ruby for testing. So it really just allows you to get very, very personal as a programmer. And now we want to take a look at what that query is about. Right. So, you know, definitely, you know, I, like I said, I'm starting up this lab. Definitely um, got to learn what these statements are all about again. So now, if you sell for a while. I'm getting started. What we want to go ahead and do is we want to go and run the start. Okay. Uh, 
So I just think I'm going to have PY. All right. And now we could see, right, what this end up, ended up result, resulting in is probably like the top. Like I'm looking at this in order. So it's probably like the top questions, that were, the top things I was searched for on Stack Overflow. Right. That would be interesting. Right, so that is the lab. That's the lab. That's how we set up BigQuery for the Python SDK. That's how we get started. Right, that's how we get started. So most importantly, like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, reach out to me in the comments. Reach out to me in the comments. And we want to assist each other as I'm on this journey, as well as you're on this journey, um, to get certified in Google Cloud. And another thing I wanted to show you guys before I head out is the Google. Cloud on developer um, platform. Where is it? Where is it? Right, Google developers. What we want to go to do is developers.google.com and then you make your own account so Google could recognize you as your own developer, right? And build you and train you on the path to working with Google. It's amazing, right? There's code labs, there's pathways, right? This, you know, working with the projects that they have for you can really build, build your resume to really stand out for job prospects. So definitely want to take advantage of that resource. So thanks for watching. And